Eight fight of the night in the middleweight division. Uplavom Uglo. In the blue corner, Denis Ekimov. Gorilla MMA Series 36, Serbian Battle Championship. We are live from Bočka Polanka, Serbia. This is a middleweight contest. The fight you see before you, Denis Ekimov. He has a record of one fight and one win. And that was back on Gorilla MMA Series 17. We saw him there come in in two minutes at the very first round. He won by TKO with strikes. That was back in October 2020. And I'm sure he'll be itching to make another good impression here. I always like to point out the stars that have been built on the Gorilla MMA series that we've seen time after time. Ekimov has started very well. Could he be the next star of the Gorilla MMA series? In the red corner, Zoran George. So his opponent making his way down to the red corner, Zoran Dodge. Now, Dodge, a much more experienced fighter. We've seen Ekimov, we know he's dangerous, but he's only had two minutes of professional experience. Dodge has a record of 13 wins, 16 losses, and one draw. Out of those wins, he's got seven wins by knockout, three by submission, three on decision. That is a lot of mat time, a lot of cage time, so much experience. Will that play as a significant factor here? Ekimov can look on at his losses and see he has eight losses by knockout. His last fight being against the great Karl Amasu, a man I've seen live many times, a very dangerous fighter. He has a different one here in Ekimov. In the blue corner, Russian fighter representing Kuznyam MMA team. He weighs in at 84.3 kilos. One fit, no defeats. Uh, Denis Ekimov! In the red corner, from Croatia, representing European top fighters Belišče, he weighs in at 83.3 kilos, 13 wins, 15 losses. Uh, Zoran George! Sudia, u ovo meču, Vladimir Badrljica. Gentlemen, we've been through the rules. Keep the fight clean and fair. When I say stop, I want you to stop the fight. Touch gloves into your corners. Touch gloves. Thank you. Gorilla MMA Series 36 Serbian Battle Championship. We are live from Bočka, Polanka, Serbia. This is Ekimov versus Dodge. Ekimov is in the blue corner with a blue tape on his gloves. Dodge in the red. This is the young up-and-coming fighter against the experienced professional. 
Ekimov dangerous, but with only two minutes of professional experience. Will that be enough? Solid low kick. Looking for a combination of punches. The much more experienced dodge. Slightly taller. More reach. Moving around the outside. Ekimov nice and controlled. Not rushing in. Good knees in the clinch to mix in the punches and a heavy low kick as well. Kick to the body. Thrown over there from Ekimov. But where are he to go down to the floor? Is he wanting to keep this standing? Will he call Dodge back up to his feet? Ekimov doing damage with the kicks now. Kick into the inside soft part of the leg. Where you can't strike someone really there standing, but they do a lot of damage here on the floor. There to the inside thigh. Ekimov not taking any risks, but landing good shots there. You can hear the sound of that heavy low kick. It crashes in onto the soft muscle behind the bone. When there's no weight on the legs, and the legs aren't tensed up, those do so much damage. There again, Ekimov looking for a big heavy punch, bundles him down to the floor again. This time happy to drop into the guard. We start to pressure some ground and pound. Ekimov pins the arm. Left hands to the head, left kick to the thigh. Really mixing up the strikes. He seems to dismantle Dodge, throws the legs out the way for the guard pass. Happy to settle for half guard, which is a good position for ground and pound. Driving the shots in. Look at the power there from Ekimov. Throwing the punches and then the elbow with that right arm. And switching to the body. Pressuring against the fence. Dodge needs to do something here. He's trying to get the underhooks. Looking to try to maybe sweep. Head pressure there from Ekimov. Again, he goes back to the attack on the legs. Kicks the thighs. A hold on the ankles, throws past and into the guard pass. And then again, we see a repeat of the dropping into the half guard. I'm looking for the ground and pound shots. Dodge, all he's got there is to grab a gable grip around the body, try to hold on. As we're coming to the end of round number one. If anything, this is good experience, good cage time. Here for Ekimov, who's completely dominating this first round. But Dodge is making things difficult for him, putting in frames, controlling the head. But Ekimov there letting go with shots from both hands. Every time he stood back up, he landed kicks into the bottom, um, kicks into the legs with both right and left leg. 
really mix things up. He'll have done a lot of damage to the legs there of Dodge. Look how easy he bundled him over with the throw. So good round. And Ekimov really showing he deserves to be in with the experienced fighters such as Dodge. Gorilla MMA Series 36. This is round number two between Ekimov in the blue corner and Dodge in the red. Dodge fighting out of Croatia. Ekimov from Russia. I think I would score round number one a 10 8 on my card. Complete domination from Ekimov. Ekimov holding center, waiting to let go of those heavy shots with right and left hands. Tries the uppercut left hook. Then a left hook again over the top. Ekimov so happy just to lead with that left hook. Nice knee up the middle as well. See the difference there in strikes landed. 39 landed from Ekimov, only three from Dodge. One of those was a decent body kick in the first round. However, Ekimov just threw him to the floor. That body kick was slightly low and the referee is giving Ekimov time to... But he continues. There's a controlled second round, more composed. Ekimov again landing decent shots, but he's got ex respect for the experience of Dodge. He's not rushing in. He looks to have shook him there with those shots. Pulls him down to the floor in the front headlock. Again, settles for the half guard. There's so much to be said for the value of Matt Time. Not rushing in, having an experienced opponent like this and working, having to grind through to a win. Dodge really making him work. Not having it all his own way, he's got back there to full guard. Again, works the kicks, then he's going to throw the feet out of the way and drop down into that side control or half guard. Dodge showing the experience he has and looking for those elevators. Turning to his side, getting the knees in between, is then again holding with his S grip around the back. And the butterfly hook looking to try to elevate and sweep. He's doing enough just to stop the attacks from Ekimov. This is round number two, Gorilla MMA Series 36, Serbian Battle Championship. This fight is Russia versus Croatia. We have Ekimov in the blue with the tape around his gloves. Dodge underneath with the red tape, fighting out of Croatia. One minute left now.
still looking to just keep that grip underneath or work with that one butterfly hook. But Ekimov showing good base to not be swept from this position. And then continue to work in the strikes. They seem working from the body to the head. The referee wants to see more action in this last minute of round number two and he stands them back up to the feet. Ekimov looking to finish strong, loading up the shots now. The left hand from the southpaw stance, the lead left hook from the orthodox stance. Looks to finish with a spinning technique, stops on the buzzer. And again there you can see the difference. 53 shots landed compared with five. That's a dominant two rounds, two 10-8 rounds there for Denis Ekimov. That knee through the middle there was probably the best shot he's landed. But fair play to Dodge who took the, the shot like it was nothing and continued. As we prepare for round number three. Third and final round here in Bochka, Polanka, Serbia. This is Gorilla MMA Series 36. It's a middleweight contest between Denis Ekimov and Zoran Dodge. Ekimov has had a Showed a controlled and experienced mature performance for someone who's only had one professional fight. He's come out against a wily veteran, controlled the pace and completely dominated without making any mistakes. He's not rushed in, he showed respect for the ability and the experience of Dodge. And at the moment, he's getting the job done very well. Looking for the trip into the front headlock. Again, you see, Dodge seems very comfortable with the one butterfly hook in, one out, and then the double underhook grip, where he's used the S grip or the gable grip round the back. Now he's got the overhooks under the armpits into the in the full butterfly. He has been looking to try to sweep from underneath, try to lift Ekimov up. But Ekimov showed great base, good presence. Whenever he's felt any sort of danger, he backs off like this and then he's worked the kicks in before throwing the feet out of the way and back into side control or half guard. Referee really trying to keep the action going here in round number three as he stands them back up to the feet. Dodge not really landing his distance is not as good as Ekimov. Maybe due to the fact he's wary of the power of the strikes Ekimov throws. The left hand, especially the lead left hand, is so powerful from Ekimov. That was a better shot though from Dodge. Dodge has a lot of work to do to win this on points, but can he start to drive in forwards and push things in this last round? Bundle to the floor again. Into the last couple of minutes of the fight now. Still the same story of Ekimov on top, pressuring. Throwing effective but limited strikes, taking his time. 
choosing the shots. Both guys retired, drained. Been a very physical contest. Will while they're on the floor, especially the physicality of working to stop someone from sweeping. You try to keep your base, and then moving in from the different ranges of legs, past the knees and hips, into the side control, and back out. All the time, Dodge trying to grip him, trying to get those underhooks to hold Ekimov close on the floor. Now they're back to the feet, and this is still Dodge driving forwards, trying to win this fight. He's not a journeyman that we'd call, who comes here to, to lose the fight. He's come here with every will to win. And still trying here now, in the final minute, driving forwards, showing the heart he has. Ekimov just that bit better just that bit younger just that bit sharper as he finishes throwing bombs in there the left hand throws him down to the floor again so strong and that is a very mature performance there from Denis Ekimov which will be very valuable to him moving on in his career his second win the second win on the Gorilla MMA series. And I certainly think that that will be more valuable to him as this, as his career goes on than any quick win he could have had. Very tough, grinded out points win there. Here you see body lock, the throws, punches, knees, variety of attacks. All judges told the same, and the winner is uh, Dennis Ekimo!